Hey folks, my name is Sean. I'm a sound designer here on Chaos Cart. Uh, I'm here to show you a specific uh, ambience track that I've been working on. Uh, medieval ambience is going to be used in a castle level of the game. Um, just kind of a, an ambience track is something that is just kind of background noise, um, something that makes you kind of feel like you're in the space. Um, so. Um, some of the things I'm putting in there is just some voices, some footsteps, um, some blacksmith sounds, um, some animal sounds, just kind of things you might expect to hear in a marketplace or something outside of a castle, just to give you an idea of, uh, of where you are uh, audibly. So <clears throat> the way things are set up, I'm using a, uh, a program called Reaper, which is a digital audio workstation. Uh, I've got everything... Um, routed through this ambience master track so all the sounds are going to be going through this specific track and then I've got a bunch of other groups set up uh, that I named based on the the type of effect that it is so these are some voices and walla so walla is just kind of some I'll give you an example here it's kind of a general speech that doesn't sound like anybody's actually saying anything discernible but definitely gives the atmosphere of there being people there um, I've also got some wind sounds I've got some footsteps like I was saying I've got some blacksmith sounds and then some additional what I call it the flavor which is just things that kind of uh, added added to that um, yeah so let me just start breaking down some of the things that I've got going on here so you already heard the uh, the first walla this is another walla that I have that includes a lot of chicken noises I thought that kind of sounded like being in a marketplace or something. Um, we've also got some general wind and birds. This is an outdoor space, so it gives you that feeling of being outdoors. I also have another gentle wind, uh, very, very quiet. And I've also got this automated. What that means is the volume. The volume is automated specifically. Uh, we'll be going up and down so that it's not always playing in the background at the same volume and it just sounds like the wind might be picking up and and going back down gives it a bit more sense of realism it's not always a constant uh, volume of one thing uh, so that's that we've got uh, the footstep track here which has a variety of footsteps going on just to sound like people are rustling around uh, this one's a Chilean market, so it kind of has a mixture of uh, walla and footsteps and all that together. On the footstep track, I was having issues with it. Uh, a lot of these footsteps are, are recorded with the microphone directly next to the feet, so it sounded like it was really, really just right next to your ears, honestly. It didn't sound uh, great. So what I did was I used a program called, or a, <clears throat> a plugin called Proximity, and what that does is it allows you to uh, essentially just simulate things being a little bit farther away uh, with the proximity effect and some what's called air absorption and essentially what it is is just a uh, complex equalizer that does some work for you um, and makes it sound a bit more realistic uh, just pulls out some frequencies that make things sound realistically further away so we had that I also just threw another equalizer on here to take out there was a lot of low end because it was recorded so close and then also uh, just to take out some more high end as well so it sounded a little bit better than I just threw uh, convolution reverb, uh, just a medium ambience on top of that um, with a little bit of a low pass just to make it a little bit more reverby and sound a bit further away. And reverb, uh, for those who don't know, is just kind of like uh, the echo you'd hear in a space that makes it sound like you're actually um, in that space as opposed to um, you know right next to a microphone, which sounds unrealistic. So that is the footsteps. Then we have some blacksmith sounds. Gives it the feeling of being, you know, around a blacksmith, which is always something you expect to hear in a medieval town. And then these are just some, uh, some flavor things that I added on. Once again, this is automated to only come in for a short period. Uh, this is the sound of a windmill going by. Um, we threw in some, some piggies. I've got some church bells that come in at some point. And then go back out. Different volumes. Uh, we've got some horses galloping. 
And then we've also got this uh, kind of rural ambience, which is some horses, uh, sheep bells, just kind of sounds like a uh, farm. Um, you know, I figured it's a marketplace. It's uh, outside of a castle. They've probably got some animals being moved around, things like that. Uh, so everything together sounds like this. Which I thought sounded pretty good. Uh, sounds like you're in that space, and but it sounds like you're directly in the middle of it. And the problem is, uh, we're on a racetrack with this around us. So what I needed to do, um, I sent this to a reverb track. So this is the reverb. Everything that goes into this track is then being sent to this track. at a complete copy of it and then it's being affected by this reverb and this reverb I took all the dry signal out dry signal is just the actual signal that you just heard and this will just be displaying reverb so if I solo that all you're hearing is a reverb of that track so that sounds a bit too distant so what we do is we mix the two of these together And it sounds like you are, uh, it's, it's right off, right off in the distance away from you. The other issue that we ran into, uh, was that this, well, I threw the equalizer at, which also made it sound a bit, a bit more distant. So often when you're further away from something, the lows get cut out and sometimes the highs too. Um, but what we're about to do is going to drastically impact that as well. I put what's called the violent stereo imager on. And what this does is it allowed me to cut the mid volume out of a lot of things. Um, because what we were hearing was everything in what's called the middle channel. Um, if you're wearing headphones, you could hear things on the left side and the right side, and everything that's in the middle will be played through both of the left and the right. And so I basically cut everything out of the middle using this so that everything sounds like it's on the sides because we want all the middle track to be saved for the important information that you're going to need. Uh, you know, the, the vehicles, um, the abilities and things like that, the audio information you're going to need to be able to play the game better um, will come through better if we have that middle cut out and this just sounds like it's information on the side. So with all that together, it sounds very much like this. So we had to make that sound effect loop so that we could play this in the background and it just keeps playing over and over. So this section we will export or render as a wave. What we can do is add rendered items back into the new track on the project. So this is going to automatically render out all of these tracks onto a single track, uh, stereo track, and then I'll show you how we can make a loop out of that. So there is that track on the bottom there. That's everything. So what we can do to make this loop, let's solo this track. So you can hear. That's exactly what we had there. So if you take the middle anywhere, and you cut it in half, take the beginning, and drag it here, and you cross fade it. So this is going into that. We then play this should loop pretty seamlessly into that side so then you just once again render that out as a loop and you're good to go All right, if you guys enjoyed that uh, please check out the patreon where we do have a, a fuller longer breakdown of this entire process of me kind of putting this sound effect together and we'll have a uh, a lot of other uh, breakdowns of some art uh, processes some programming and a lot of other information that's uh, really fun to follow uh, so we'll see you there